Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial we're going to build a new molecule and relax its structure. Let's get started with a new document and this acts as a blank canvas into which we can add new atoms. And we'll do that using the tool strip at the bottom of the screen. And we're going to use the Add Atom tool on the right hand side. Now next to this tool is a little downward pointing triangle which when clicked displays the Atom Picker palette. Let's drag that over to the right of the screen to make space for our new molecule. You'll notice that the common elements for organic molecules are already displayed in this palette. We have some presets at the bottom for different types of structures, for example silicates and carbonates. We can also use these empty buttons and we can click on them and add new elements into those positions. But for now we'll stick with the elements that we've been provided. And then it's simply a case of clicking with the mouse to add new atoms onto the screen. So here we have a new carbon atom. I'm going to add a second carbon atom and we have a little shortcut that we can use. If you hold the shift key down then as you move the mouse, the distance between the current mouse position and the previously clicked atom is displayed on the screen. This gives you a rough idea of what the bond length is going to be. We don't need to get the bond length exact because the program can relax that later on. So let's keep the shift key down and let's build a simple chain with a ring. Now I'd like to add some oxygen and I'm going to select the atom to which the oxygen should be attached and then I'll choose oxygen from the atom picker. Now with the shift key down I can add a new oxygen atom. Now if you make a mistake and you need to change the atom type you can do that very easily. So let's add a wrong atom. Let's add some phosphorus. Oops, we didn't mean to do that. We wanted to add hydrogen. No problem. We go to the correct atom in the palette and click on the existing selected atom. And then we're prompted to change the atom type. Yes, we want hydrogen. Now we need to add some more hydrogen. So we can click to define the atom to be attached and click again to add the new atom. So click to anchor this carbon, click again to add the hydrogen, click to anchor, click to add, and so on. Now this gets tedious for large structures, so we can use the program's add hydrogen command to fully saturate the molecule for us. So we go up to the add hydrogens, and the program will add the hydrogens and it will also relax their positions. Notice it's not relaxing the rest of the molecule because in some cases you want to decorate an existing refined structure with hydrogens. Here we actually do want to relax the entire structure. So I'm going to click the relax button and this will relax the entire molecule. Now we have a nicely relaxed molecule and we can zoom in and take a look. Now I actually wanted to have a benzene ring here so I'm going to select half of my hydrogens and delete them. So I'm using the arrow key and I'm shift clicking on the hydrogens and then I can press the delete key to delete them and we'll just relax the molecule one more time. Now we have a nice leaf shaped organic molecule. Now I'm going to just tidy up the appearance of this molecule. I want to show some double bonds in my ring. I'm going to select alternate bonds and I'll use the selection inspector to change the selected bonds to double bonds. And I'm also going to uh, label my carbon atoms. So I'll go to the atoms inspector and turn on their labels. 
So here we have a nice organic molecule that has been relaxed using Crystal Maker 10. Now, if you wanted to build a more complex structure, you can always select groups of atoms and use the duplicate command and then reattach those groups so you can build up a structure in a modular fashion. But for a simple molecule like this, you can simply click with the mouse and then relax the structure.